This PBG how-to video will instruct you how to install the free add-in Find Time on your Office 365 and Outlook 2013. Before you install, you need an Office 365 account. This is not required for any recipients, but it is for you as a sender. You need Outlook 2013 or newer, and you must have Outlook closed before installing. The first step is to browse to portal.office.com and log into your Office 365 account and navigate to the store. If you don't see this automatically, you can open the app launcher on the top left and click store. In the store, you can use the search bar to search for find time. Click it and then simply click add. If you are not already at this point, you will be prompted to log in. After a moment, you will be able to click install and then after a confirmation, hit OK. If you want to make sure that this is installed and turned on, you can go to Settings, click Mail at the bottom, open the General drop-down, and then click Manage Add-ons. This will list all your add-ons. Here we can see Find Time is installed and a checkbox indicates it's enabled. Alternatively, you can also just click Manage Add-ons from the Settings to see that it is turned on. Now let's go ahead and try it. Let's go to our mail. And you can create a new email or respond to an email. You will see the add-ins at the top and at the bottom. Clicking it will open the add-ins pane and you can select find time. If this is the first time you are using this, you will be prompted to link your account. Since you're already logged in, you can simply click the link now, and after a moment, you're all set. Then you can add your attendees into the to address bar, and your optional attendees into the CC address bar. You can see a little demo here on the side. And then you can select the date and times for your meeting poll from the find time calendar. Now let's try this in our Outlook 2013. In Outlook 2013, it does not display add-ins or the Find Time Meeting Poll icon on the top right of the Home ribbon as it does in Outlook 2016. To activate it, you must use Reply, Reply All, Forward, or Open a New Meeting, and you will see Apps for Office. Here you can click that, select Find Time, and hit Start to open the Find Time pane. At this point, some of our viewers will run into an issue that the Apps for Office is missing or it's grayed out and they can't click it. There's a few reasons for this. Uh, Apps for Office doesn't play as nice with 2013 as it does with Outlook 2016. Let's address some of the most common issues. Let's go to File, Office Account, and check under User Information, what is your account there? Make sure that it is your Office 365 account. If it is not, hit Switch Account, click Add Account, and then follow the prompts to log in and connect your Office 365 account. Also, down here in Add a Service, you may not see your Office Store. It'll look like this. Connected Services with a drop down. So hit Add a Service, Office Store, and log in with your email. and then you'll be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft account. Additionally, some viewers may have an issue signing in at this point. This is an issue with your password. The simplest solution is to just reset your password and then this will take your new password. And you can hit sign in. If you performed either of these steps, it is recommended that you restart your Outlook. Alternatively, or less common, there is an issue documented by Microsoft. It's a couple missing KB updates and a registry edit. The article is 3054849 and the link is below in the description. There are two KB updates that you can install and a relatively simple registry edit that you can do. Again, it is 
required that you have Outlook closed when performing these changes. So now when we fire up our Outlook, we can go to New Items, Meeting, hit Apps for Office, select Find Time, and click Start. And then Find Time will appear on the right, and we can add in our attendees, and then select the date and time for our meeting through the Find Time calendar. If you have any questions, please comment below or hit us up on Twitter at PVG Networks. Check us out on social media. The links are also below.